Hello kids. Now yesterday we learned all about addition. Did you practice the work that I gave you? Great. Now let's start with subtraction. Ready? Let's begin. Arrange the numbers vertically and find the difference. So in order to arrange we have to place the numbers according to their place value. So 89,000. Hundreds zero fifty six minus fifty eight thousand four hundred twenty eight. Always remember when we subtract, the number in the upper row should be larger than the number in the lower row. Okay, now over here six is smaller than 8 then 6 will have to seek a help because 8 being big, bigger cannot be subtracted from 6 so 6 will go to 5 and just like you the numbers are very kind they will never say no to help so 5 will give 1 to 6 because of which 5 minus 1 will be 4. So here we'll write 4 and this will be 1660. Now as this is receiving a number from 10's place, a 1 will be added over here. Okay. Now 16 minus 8. Start counting after 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How many? 8. Now 4 minus 2. So let's start counting after 2. 3, 4. How many? 2. Now 0 minus 4. Again, not possible. So 0 will go and seek the help from 9. 9 minus 1, 8. And this becomes 10. Now 10 minus 4. Let's start counting after 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many? 6. 6 remains. Now 8 minus 8. Any number subtracted from itself gives 0. Okay? Now 8 minus 5. After 5, 6, 7, 8. How many remains? 3. So the answer is 30,628. Easy, isn't it? Now let's start with the next one. Arrange the numbers in the proper column. 32,717 minus 36,000. 140. Can you recognize a mistake? Yes, there is a mistake which is commonly made by everyone. Here the heading says 32,717 from 36,140. When word from is used, we have to arrange this number first. And in the second layer, in the second row, we have to arrange the, this number. Okay? Will you remember that? Great. Now, let's cut this. As we know, this is a mistake. Now we will write 32,717 over here. Always remember. Smaller number is subtracted from bigger number. Okay? Good now. 0 minus 7. Of course 0 is the smallest number. We cannot subtract anything from this. So it will go and seek help from 4. 10 minus 7 will be after 7, 8, 9, 10. 3. 3 minus 1 after 1. 2, 3, 2, 1 minus 7, 
not possible so it will seek help from 6 and this will become 1 1 11 now 11 minus 7 after 7 8 9 10 11 4 5 minus 2 after 2 3 4 5 3 3 minus 3 will be 0 so answer is 3423 easy don't forget this rule bigger number in upper row smaller number in lower row okay now I'm going to show you one trick through which you can check your subtraction sums let's start first of all we have to subtract the sum as we used to do 6 minus 0 will be 6 7 minus 6 after 6 7 so 1 4 minus 3 is also 1 6 minus 2 after 2 3 4 5 6 so 4 and 9 minus 4 so after 4 5 6 7 8 9 so answer is 5 so the difference over here is 54,116 now to check we will place this number up 54,116 the difference goes up we will copy the, this number here 42,360 remains on the second row it seems now what we will do we will add these two numbers let's start adding 6 plus 0 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 2 5 6 and 5 plus 4 6 7 8 9 as you can see both these numbers are same 96476 so this shows that your answer is correct simple way of checking your subtraction easy now try on your own. Subtract and check. All the best. Now just as we used the estimation method in addition, we can also use estimation method in subtraction. Okay? Remember, we have to round off, then subtract. We will get the estimation. Let's start. 3 minus 5. Not possible. This is a smaller digit. So it will seek help from 8. Now 13 minus 5. After 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many? 8. 7 minus 4. After 4, 5, 6, 7. Now 7 minus 2. After 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many? 5. And 8 minus 5. After 5, 6, 7, 8. 3 again. So the actual difference is 3538. Now estimation can be done in three different methods. Estimate to nearest 10, nearest 100 and nearest 1000. So let's start with nearest 10. 8783. When we estimate to the nearest 10, only last digit becomes 0. If it is smaller than 5, we will copy the remaining digits as it is. Right? Good. Again, last digit 0. If it is 5 or bigger than 5, we will add 1 to the digit before it, which makes it 5. Did you get me? 5245, last digit is 5. So we will add 1 to the previous digit. 
and copy the others as it is. So we have rounded off to nearest 10. Now 0 minus 0, 0. 8 minus 5 after 5, 6, 7, 8. 7 minus 2 is 5. And 8 minus 5 is 3. As you can see, this answer is close to 3538. Now, estimate to nearest 100. We will write the last two digits as 0 because we have to estimate to the nearest 100. This digit will be observed. As this is more than 5, we will add 1 to the digit before it which makes it 8 and 8 as it is. Now, last two digits will be 0. This is smaller than 5. So we will copy the remaining two digits as it is. 0 minus 0, 0, 0. 8 minus 2 is 6 and 8 minus 5 is 3. Again, this is close to this. Right? But nearest 100. Now estimate to the nearest 1000. Last 3 digit will be 0. Right? We will observe this digit. It is bigger than 5. So we will add 1 to the digit before it which makes it 9 minus last 3 digit 0. We will observe this. Smaller than 5. We will copy the other digit as it is. The answer is 9 minus 5 after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, answer is 4000, which is again close to 3538. So, when we do not need the actual difference, we will go with estimation because it makes the calculation easy. Right? Now, we are going to learn about one more easy technique of subtraction which is called compensation. Yesterday we learned compensation method for addition. In the same way we are going to learn for subtraction. For easy calculations we first round off our number, then we subtract and in the last we compensate. Let's try with one example. 57 minus 39. Here we will round off 39. Let's write 57. Now we can round off 39 by making it 40 minus 1. Right? So we will subtract 40 from 57 to make the calculations easy. The answer will be 70. Right? But is this the final answer? No. Now is the turn to compensate. We subtracted 1 earlier. So now we will be adding 1 to our difference. Now 17 plus 1 is 18. 18 is our final difference. Easy, isn't it? So, 57 minus 39 is 18. Let's try with one more example. 933 minus 470. Over here, we will round off 470. Now, a question may arise that this was a two-digit number. So, we rounded off this to tens. But here we have three digit number. So we will round off this to hundreds. Okay. Let's start. 933 minus 470 when rounded off we get 500. So 500 minus 30 will give us 470. Right. So let's start. 933 minus 500 will do first. What will we get? 433. 
This can be done orally 3 minus 0, 3, 3 minus 0, 3 and 9 minus 5, 4. This is quite easy to do orally but still if you face problem you can write it in your rough space and do the sum quickly. Right? Great. Now let's continue. The difference that we got before compensation is 433. Now time to compensate. 433 plus 30. Here we subtracted and now we will add to compensate the difference. So the answer will be 463. So, 933 minus 470 is 463. This may seem longer when we write. But when these calculations are done orally, it becomes very simple for us. Okay? Let's try the last one. 700 minus 180. Of course, we'll round off this number at hundreds place. So... 700 minus 200 minus 20 because when we round off 180 it becomes 200 and 200 minus 20 becomes 180 right so first of all we will subtract 200 from 700 which gives us 500 now time to compensate We subtracted 20. So now we will be adding 20. So our answer is 520. 700 minus 180 is 520. It's easy, isn't it? I hope you can try more on your own.